Hey, what's up guys and welcome back to the channel. I know you've been asking for more Kai installs since I did the hood pins, which if you missed that video, make sure you check it out. I'll post a link to it. That was, that was a fun install. Let's just put it that way. It took all day, but we had a lot of fun doing it. Cutting into your hood can be scary, but if you take the time and do it right, you can probably still mess up, but we didn't. <laughs> we did, we, we, do we like, how, Ricky, how, how long did we measure the second hood pin, like really, three hours. Yeah, really fun. Like we did so many like finger tests, measuring, yeah. like how check the wind speed and measure. <laughs> like I almost died. It was it was a lot of fun, but it's doable. You guys can do it. If I can do it, you can do it. The next install is actually Oracle Lighting hooked me up, okay, with some tail lights and headlights. But in today's video, we're just gonna do the tail lights. We'll do the headlights on another day. But basically, if you look inside this package. Right, you see the, the crescent moon we got going on right here. We're gonna take out each individual tail light and then pop that in like that and then connect the wires. And then when I hit my brakes, instead of just lighting up red, we're gonna have a red light and a cool little crescent light underneath. And it's gonna be really nice. Mm -hmm. And if you guys have been thinking about hitting Oracle lights up to get some lights for your car, no matter what it is, use my code MS10, get yourself 10% off. And just to show you too, so this is the box right here, came from my Camaro. So obviously there's four tail lights. It comes with all four. And then for the next job, we got the headlights right here. And then these are for the fog lights. And these I can actually control with my phone and change the colors to whatever I want. Uh, and then just to make sure you come back for future install videos, we still got these BC Racing custom coilovers to install. And that's gonna be happening hopefully within the next couple weeks, as long as we got the time to do it. So Ricky, let's start, let's start breaking some stuff and installing some stuff. Yeah. So as for tools, it's probably gonna differ depending on what car you own. I know for me, it's gonna be very minimal. I'm gonna need these tools just to pop off some of the plastic pieces. And then you're gonna have to cut open the tail lights. So you're gonna need a Dremel tool. Then when you're putting everything back together, you're gonna need some of this. I actually had Oracle Lighting send me their adhesive to put the tail lights back together. I'm gonna use it on my headlights as well. Uh, and then you will need a drill because as you can see, there is wires that are gonna come out of this. So you will have to drill a small hole to get the wires through. So the first thing I'm gonna do is remove this top panel right here using this tool to get in so I don't snap or break anything. So in order to get this tail light out, I have to remove these bolts, take out the bulb, and then remove this chrome piece in the front, and then it slides forward. So I'm gonna do that right now. When you remove these guys, you wanna be very careful because it's just plastic and it can break. There's two tabs here, there's two tabs here, and there's two underneath. Get the top one started first, get the side started, then you're gonna take your hand and go underneath and kind of push with your fingers until it breaks loose, and then make sure when you pull it off, you pull it off straight, or else you're gonna have some things break, and it's not gonna be good. So this is what it looks like. Tabs up top, tabs on the side, tabs on the bottom. As Soon as you get that off, you can remove the light, and then once you remove the light, you can get started with dremeling through here to cut the front off and then do the install. I wanna point something out real quick, guys, because I wasn't sure exactly where to cut my line, but if you look really closely at the light, you can see I'm cutting really close to this edge because as you get to the back, you can see where it's bubbled up from when they first melted it on. So I'm gonna be able to easily apply my adhesive here to get it back. So look for, look for something like this, and it's that top piece that you wanna hit with your Dremel. 
All right, guys, so I got the first one off, and it took me a little while, I'm not gonna lie. I wasn't sure exactly how deep and far to cut because there's a thin line out here that's basically the, the safety, or I wouldn't call it the safety, that's basically the guide. So when you put it back on, it goes in the right place. And so you have to cut until you see that black guide, and then you can get a screwdriver, but you still gotta be so careful because it's plastic and you can snap it in half. So take your time with the Dremel, go all the way around a few times, work the areas that seem to be a bit tight, but then once it comes off, you're ready to put your light in. But what I'm gonna do real quick is just kind of clean this up a little bit, just because when I put the cover back on, I don't wanna be able to see all of that through here. Well, guys, uh, Ricky, my video guy, is pretty happy. Uh, because <laughs> <laughs> doesn't bother me. <laughs> because he gets to leave early today. So I think what happened was the tail lights that got sent to me were for a sixth gen Camaro, where mine's a fifth gen, because the light is not supposed to be U-shaped. It's supposed to be more oval-shaped and that's why it's not fitting correctly. And I reached out to Oracle asking if you could bend it, which I'm pretty sure you can't. So I'm gonna have to just reach back out to them and have them send me the correct one. But no big deal, mistakes happen. And that's why I went with Oracle because I heard from a lot of people, if there's any issues, they take care of it. So we'll be back in three, two, and I'm back. All right guys, we're back. So we got the new lights in. And I didn't send back the old ones yet because I wanted to show you guys the difference. So my buddy, uh, Instagram account, we fly here. A lot of you probably follow him. He has a really nice black Camaro, 2012 Camaro. Mine's a 2010, uh, but he has the Afterburners 2.0 on his, and they fit really well on the 2012. I'm not sure if there's a difference exactly in the taillights, but I know for a lot of people who have a 2012 do do this model. So. Mine's a 2010, it's more rounded. This is the difference in what it looks like. These are the 2.0s, these are the regulars. The next step is going to be sticking the ring to the light, but obviously we have a wire here and we have to pass that through. So we're gonna drill a hole in this corner so the wires can go through. But the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna take the wires out of here. If you get a little tool like this, you can use the pick to kind of push in a little and then pull the wires out. And the reason why I'm doing that is because I wanna make this hole as small as possible, and I'm gonna to have to drill pretty big in order to get this plastic piece through. But if we pull both wires out of the plastic piece first, then we can just put them through and then reattach the plastic piece in the end. get a file guys once you get your hole started because it's gonna have to be a tiny bit wider you can get in there and just start to slowly open up the hole just big enough to get your wires through so as you guys can see we got our hole down here in the corner from the back it's coming out right up the top here and one of the thing I would suggest if you get a compressor or just a can of air get in there and just get all the stuff out of there Last thing you want to do is look at your tail lights and then just see like little pieces of plastic sitting around or floating around in there. So even before you put it all together, blast it again. Just make sure there's nothing in there. So guys, you can see I already have the wire through. Uh, one thing that really helped me, it's a little trick that I use whenever I do electrical work. I've got the past two wires is I got some electrical tape and then I actually electrical taped the other, uh, the red wire down a bit further from the black one. So I just put the tip right here and then I just went around, got it on there nice and tight, and I was able to pull it through quite easily. Now that they're through, you're just gonna take the wires and slide them back in. Boom, see how it connects right in there? Super easy. Now one thing I recommend, before you put all this back together, make sure the light works by plugging it back in, getting a nine volt battery, and then just touching it. Boom, it works. Now we can go with the rest of the install.
All right, guys, so we're ready to do the second tail light. Uh, again, test it beforehand, make sure all the LEDs light up, and they do, as you can see. And this was a little different installation. I went up through this corner piece right here versus going through the side. And it doesn't really matter where you go as long as it's tucked in the corner because there's a reflector on the top of the light. So as soon as you put it back on, you're not going to see anything up there anyways. So don't be afraid to kind of mess around with this area depending on how the tail light is because there's no room to go through the corner over there. When you guys are putting your lights back together, just make sure you take some silicone. You get in here and you just goop up where the wire's coming out. You don't want any moisture getting into this light no matter what. So don't be afraid to really goop it on there to protect it because if you get moisture in your light and it starts to fog up, you're going to be really unhappy because you're going to have to take the whole thing apart and do it again. Check it out! All four are done! And it only took all day. <laughs> oh man, but I, you know, I take my time when I do stuff like this because I want it to come out perfect. Jane is my baby, obviously, but all the Oracle lights are installed. Um, when I did the sealing of the silicone, it's very important to make sure that when you put each light aside after you're done, you know, putting it back together, Make sure it's upright because if you have it sideways, the light can still slide a little bit, okay? Depending on how the cuts happen. So once you get it lined up perfect, tape it up as much as you need to. I use painter's tape, okay? It's not gonna mess up your lights. And then make sure they stay upright and now they're gonna stay upright like this overnight to dry. So hopefully tomorrow we can finish the install. The tail lights finished curing overnight. I took all the tape off. And then I cleaned them real good. So I'll get you to clean them obviously when they're out of the vehicle. Now I'm gonna start putting them in one by one. As you guys can see, when you put the lights in, you don't have to make any additional holes. You can actually run the wires right through the holes that are already back here. So. Don't do any extra drilling if you don't have to. Now we're gonna start connecting the lights. And in order to do that, you have to start pairing the wiring. So each side obviously has two tail lights. So we have one for one side, one for the other side. But because there's only one for each wire, we're gonna to have to take our positives and negatives and then connect them together before installation. So what we need to do is tap into these wires right here. So we're gonna go black on black, and then the red wire is gonna go on this middle one, which is more of a purplish color. And you're gonna use these connectors right here, and they're very easy. All you gotta do is snap them into place. So now we're gonna test to make sure everything works. Oh, look at that! Here we go. So one thing I took advantage of because I have all these out is I got my chrome polish and I just quickly polished them up because I was able to get spots that I'm not gonna be able to get once I put them back on. Granted, you can still do a pretty good job of cleaning these when they're on the vehicle themselves, but it only takes about five to 10 minutes to do each one. Why not get it done, right? And they came out really nice. Look how shiny those are. guys 
the Oracle Afterburner kit is fully installed and it looks sweet. But if I'm being honest, um, I did have to reopen three of my tail lights and rework it a bit to make it stick. Uh, I contacted Oracle and I said, hey, um, these things slipped, what should I do? And they had rec I recommended that I get some epoxy. And this is like five to six dollars, you can get it at Home Depot, you can get it at Lowe's, um, and a few dabs in a couple couple spots on the tail light and you should be good to go. If you guys have any questions about the Oracle light install, just post them below and I'll get to them. Have a great day, guys.